Okay, it's the end of, wow, what is today? I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> anyway, it's a great job with a great view. So I've got borrow material clear up into there. And uh, I got to grade that in the morning. This was all white earlier. I have taken some of the junk topsoil and put over it. So I got two marks on the stake. The bottom one is finished grade uh, before topsoil, and then the next one up is topsoil. So we've pretty much got the big cut done. Let me go down and show you that. I'm on Matt's motorcycle because he took my four-wheeler to go get some water. So what I did through here is uh, there's really deep topsoil in this swell, low spot. So I dug it all out right here and piled it over there and then put this rocky stuff in here. So once I get this all graded up and ready for topsoil, I'll go get this topsoil put on it and then uh, keep digging over there and dig a hole and pile the topsoil on this side so I could start to make the fill on that side. So we have that one rock right there. That's the only one that size that we've run into. That was quite the anomaly. So this is our cut. So this is half of the runway. The other half's right there waiting to get cut. So I cut this slope with the 637. That's a three to one slope. That's, that, that'll make your butt pucker holding that scraper up there. So let me take you down here to the other end. So this uh, I did by myself without the push cat. It was only about a three foot cut through here. And that right there at the end is the fence. Got to trade hands. That's the fence and that's the end of it. So overall it's 3,400 feet long. So you got lots of rock in here. So I got to finish filling that up. I got to probably be up about top of the fence posts before that's done. So this is some more of the topsoil that I piled. And the reason I did, I'm doing this half at a time is the customer uh, didn't want me to disturb any more brush than I had to, or I'd have piled it on the other side of the stakes and did the whole job and then went and got the topsoil. So as it is, I'm having to do a little juggling here to make sure that I got lots of topsoil because uh, it's not a problem to have too much topsoil but it's a big problem if you don't have enough okay so this is where I dug topsoil out of this side and so I've probably got about four feet of fill in here so, like I said, once I get this prepped for topsoil, I'll take this dirt I've got stacked here, topsoil it, then dig down as deep as I can uh, until I start hitting rock and pile that on that side. So when I get this side done, I can put it over here. So yeah, I gotta move dirt several times, but uh, it's the only way I can get it done, so. That's that. That's a beautiful view, isn't it? He just can't beat that. So this is my junky, dirty topsoil. It's good soil, but it's just got a lot of rock in it. And I stripped this off of here and the other side. And so we just use it to put over this nasty stuff to finish making the fill and to at least 
put something on there I can run on because it's just absolutely terrible the cycle times because you can't get up into really high gear because of the rock so we put a little of that down grade it and then it's a super highway so this is what it looks like after I dump it out and run it on it with a scraper. And you can't lightly blade this nasty stuff. When you blade it, you got to get down and roll some material. And it bangs the grater and throws it around. And then basically you roll it off the edge somewhere because you got to get rid of all these big rocks. Uh, it's hard to cut within a couple tenths when you're dumping 12 inch minus so anyway I had uh, some visitors from Tennessee stop by I guess uh, Mrs. Pater said she talked to him sorry I missed you and then uh, Rod Chandler came up to see me Sunday but I wasn't here <laughs> sorry Rod Anyway, that's what I'm up to. Thought I'd make a quick video to show you this. Uh, when I get home, I'll show you the turbocharged version uh, from start to finish. Got some drone footage, all that fun stuff. Uh, transporting equipment up. And anyway, it's just these jobs don't come along hardly ever. And it's just awesome when you can live on the job. I'd sit in my chair out in front of the camper in the morning and uh, watch the elk on that ridge up there but since we've had the d9 in haven't seen any elk that thing squeaks so bad i think they've run off to the next valley so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and the update and you guys have an awesome weekend